Okay. Mark. Take take three, Mark. I'm Mark Kinsman. I'm an emerging technologies developer, and I work for Mortensen. I'm Will Adams. I'm an emerging technologies developer, and I work for Mortensen. We focus on basically um, finding new technologies that are out there um, and developing those and, and using those um, to figure out how we can help our business or our customers' businesses. We definitely do uh, a lot of work with um, healthcare providers and um, one of the challenges that those healthcare providers have is that there's all these people that need to work together in those operating rooms. They're really small and they're really critical spaces. What happens is that a lot of times the operating room will be completed and then six months later the, the hospital is spending a bunch of money to renovate those operating rooms because it wasn't really functioning uh, in the way that they intended it to. But with Unity and the environment we build, we can build that fully immersive environment. We can build an environment for mobile phones, and we can also render video out of that same environment. It's multi-user, it's networked. We can have um, really as many people in the environment as we want. The power in Unity is not just in the visualization. That's a great component of it. But it's the, our ability to create these different interaction modes and scenarios that we can start to do. And when we do these projects, we are catching things. It's hard to know would we have not caught it if we didn't build it in this environment. The last operating room or, Im or imaging room we did, they wouldn't be able to position the monitor in the correct place because uh, the imaging unit would be in the way of it. At that point, they, they realized that you know that just wasn't going to work and it definitely saved them a bunch of time and money.